Optically programmed signals are simple and effective devices for controlling traffic flow. When strategically located and properly installed, these devices enable drivers to see only the signal intended to control their movement. The 3M model 131 differs from other traffic control signals. Light is provided by a powerful lamp and its travel through the housing is controlled by a diffuser, an optical limiter, and a lens. When the light reaches the final lens assembly, it is strong, bright, and easily seen. However, this light must be further controlled to ensure that it will be seen only by the appropriate traffic for which it is intended. Therefore, the signal must be correctly mounted, aimed, and masked at the desired location. This may require the use of a ladder, bucket truck, or other elevating device. It is suggested that the yellow indication be aimed first. This is the brightest indication and will be the easiest to work with. Begin by opening the lamp housing at the back of the signal. Loosen the thumb screws holding the diffuser to the signal housing and remove the diffuser. To aim the lens, look at the image on the clear face of the optical limiter. The signal acts like a camera lens, so the image will appear inverted. The image viewed on the limiter is the area where the signal is aimed. Ideally, when aiming the signal, your head should be about two feet directly behind the signal, though it is still possible to aim the signal from a viewing angle up to 15 degrees off the axis. At the base of each indication are preset tilt adjustments. These signals are pre-tilted at the factory to cover most situations. Pedestal mounted signals are set at four degrees while overhead mounted signals are pre-tilted at 8 degrees. Check the vertical tilt adjustment by viewing the optical limiter. On a correctly aimed signal, the image should appear on the center two-thirds of the optical limiter. If it is necessary to adjust the tilt angle for the signal's location, start with the signal housing that is secured to the rigid mounting and open the lens door located in the front of the signal. Then loosen the screws in the signal housing. And slide out the wire shield. With a half inch wrench, loosen the bolts holding the signal in the pipe adapter. The tilt is changed at the mounting adapter by lifting the signal off of the outer exposed pin and then rotating the signal housing about the pin until it relocates at the desired angle. Check this vertical adjustment on the optical limiter. Increasing the tilt will include more of the foreground on the optical limiter, while decreasing the tilt will include more of the background. When the proper tilt is achieved, Tighten the bolt securing the mounted signal. With the first vertical adjustment made, the signal can now be adjusted horizontally. To aim the signal horizontally, loosen the four locking bolts at the mounting adapter. Then rotate the entire signal around the mounting. When the signal is properly aimed, the image should appear in the center two-thirds of the optical limiter. Then tighten the adapter lock bolts. The tilt indications between the signal sections must now be changed to correspond to the pin setting of the first reset tilt angle. It is important to change the tilt adjustments on both sides of the signal housing. Be sure all pins are set at the same tilt angle and to retighten the bolts securing the signal housings. Replace the wire shields and secure them into place. Be sure all doors are closed and tightened. All sections must be set at the same tilt angle for the entire signal to work correctly. With the tilt set, the signal is ready to be masked. 